To watch the latest from India Science, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications on all the science related videos. Well, in our previous episodes, we discussed the Delta and Delta Plus variants. In this edition, we will shift our focus on a new variant sparking global concerns, the Lambda variant. On June 14th, the World Health Organization labelled Lambda variant as a variant of interest. Later, the UK added this strain into the list of variants under investigation. What is the Lambda variant? Why has it raised alarm bells and what do we know about it so far? We'll talk about them in detail in the next few minutes. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. And let's move on to story number one. And before we dive in, let's look at the variants listed under variants of concern. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, including Delta Plus. A variant becomes a variant of concern if it shows a demonstrated link to increased transmissibility, disease severity or the ability to evade the immune response. Let us now look at variants of interest. Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa and Lambda. Variants of interest are those that display changes that need further investigation. Lambda is the newest addition to the list. It first emerged in South America's Peru and has since spread to about 29 countries. The Lambda variant is reportedly related to 81 percent of the cases detected since April in Peru. The WHO explained that the Lambda variant has multiple mutations on the spike protein. One of the most notable mutations in Lambda is the L452Q mutation. It is similar to Delta's L452R mutation which is linked to high infectiousness. Public Health England said that there is currently no evidence indicating that this variant causes more severe disease or reduces the efficacy of current vaccines. Researchers from the University of Chile, Santiago published a preprint study on the Lambda variant. A preprint study is yet to be evaluated for accuracy. Now, let us examine the findings. The researchers found that Lambda might spread faster than Gamma and Alpha and might be more capable of escaping the immune response generated by the vaccine. They arrived at this after studying blood samples of vaccinated individuals. However, I must add that this is just a preliminary study. In India, Delta and Delta plus variants seem to be prominent. We have no evidence that Lambda is widespread in this country. However, experts warn that the opening of international air travel might bring a cocktail of new variants including Lambda in India. That is what we have reports saying. At the moment, we have got to stay safe. We can lower our risk by getting vaccinated, following COVID-19 appropriate behavior and avoiding poorly ventilated places. And now moving on to the next positive story. Well, an all-woman team from IIT Delhi has developed an antifungal strategy to treat fungal infections of the eye or fungal keratitis. Fungal keratitis is an infection of the cornea, a dome-shaped structure sitting in front of your eye. Its job is to focus light on your eye. The fungi responsible for the infection are Fusarium species, Aspergillus species, Candida species and the symptoms of fungal keratitis are eye pain, eye redness, blurred vision, sensitivity to light excessive tearing and eye discharge, fungal keratitis could cause vision loss if left untreated. The institute that explained that India has a vast agricultural population which is very prone to vegetative trauma while farming. Vegetative trauma 
to the eye is generally caused by the infected vegetable matter such as plant leaves and often leads to fungal infection of the cornea in the eyes or fungal keratitis. Another contributor to the fungal keratitis is eye trauma, mainly caused by plant thorns or sticks. Other risk factors include underlying eye disease, weakened immune system and contact lens use according to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As for treatment, they have approved natamycin which is most widely used but it is less effective due to poor ocular penetration especially in those with severe disease. So the all woman team developed a novel peptide based antifungal strategy. These peptides were attached to natamycin. The result, the combination had a better antifungal effect in rabbits and mice according to the researchers. These animal studies could pave the way for clinical trials. We have something to look forward to. And moving on to our next story. Well, spiders can prey on snakes many times their size. Did you know that? These venomous spiders are found all over the world barring Antarctica according to a new study. And the researchers published this finding after combing through social media sites, news reports for records of spiders attacking snakes. And they found more than 300 such observations including more than 40 spider species. Tarantulas and other large spiders mostly attack snakes which on average were small roughly just around 10 inches in length and even then 10 inches is too big a prey for spiders. So now the question is how do these spiders take on large serpents? According to the National Geographic, the spiders build strong webs often extending to the ground and once caught the spider delivers its venom to immobilize its prey. They expel digestive enzymes to liquefy the snake's soft body parts and they then sip the snake's insides over days and weeks. So now the next question is whether spiders successfully feasted on the prey or did the snakes manage to escape? From the record of 319 instances of snake spider encounters, researchers found that the spiders had a success rate of 87% mind you and in 11% of the time people saved the trapped serpents and 1.5% of the time the snakes managed to escape. It is incredible what spiders can do. And that's all in this episode of Science Time. I'll see you next Friday again with more such interesting stories from the world of science and technology. Till then stay safe. Namaskar. Mm -hmm.